Today we're making wood-fired Montreal-style bagels. You know it. They're the most delicious kind of bagel. Every time we go to visit my grandmother in Montreal, she buys a big bag of St. Theater bagels, and then she goes to Frank's smoked salmon shop and gets this big bag of smoked salmon. The grease is like pouring through the bag. And when you go into Frank's store, there's like always this guy just chain smoking in the corner. Inside, doesn't matter. Kind of like smells musty like fish. And you go up to the counter and the guy's like, how many pounds do you want? And he like slices the smoked salmon with this really long knife. And he always slices a piece first, puts it on the end of his knife and like passes it across the counter to you and you just eat it off the knife. Oh my god, it's so greasy, so good. Montreal bagels, you don't need Frank smoked salmon. You don't need a wood burning oven, but it just makes them better. So let's get started. First things first two packs of yeast. You could do sourdough if you wanted, but traditionally, we're going traditional, they got yeast. So shout out Fleshman's Traditional Active Dry Yeast. That just goes in there. And these are uh, 8 grams per packet. You could also use uh, fresh yeast, and I'm pretty sure you'd use one and a half ounces for a... Uh, yeah, that's, I think that's right. So the yeast is in there. Sometimes you have to activate it for these bagels, you do not. Then we got one and a half cups of water. Real full, real full. No, it's my nice measuring cup. Anyways, in there. Just like so. Alright, next, two teaspoons of sugar. Let me get my teaspoon measure. Where's my teaspoon measure? Two teaspoons of sugar, two and a half teaspoons of salt. Alright, water, yeast, sugar, salt in here. And I'll link the recipe on our website so you can do this at home. The next thing we've got to do is we've got to separate some egg yolks. It's fun stuff. The goat man, who uh, sells illegally unpasteurized goat's milk, also sells eggs. So, if you don't know how to separate egg yolks from egg whites, it's really simple. I'm going to show you right now. So there's a few ways. Some people like crack them and then do two shells, and then the shells get sharp and you always break them, and it's like so hard, and some people put them in their hand and drop it through their hand, and it's like so hard too. So this is what I do. Ready? One egg. Break it nicely. Nicely. Just like that. All right. Two fingers in, pull apart. Obviously, don't break the yolk, because then you defeat the whole point of separating them. Then you just go in with your fingies. Make sure you've got some clean fingies, and maybe get a bit of a bigger bowl. And just separate that out. Just like that. Look at that. Separation. You got your... Oh, I'm dropping. You got your yolk right here, you got your white right there, and then you just pull off. Look at that, so easy, nothing breaks. And you can, and this way, do it a lot faster because you can put like five in at once and then just go For this recipe, we need one egg yolk and one whole egg. So, I got my one egg yolk and then I'm just gonna break my whole egg right into there. And then I'll save my white for something else. Don't throw out your egg whites, I don't know why. Don't throw out anything, even like your garbage. Repurpose it. Next thing we're gonna do is a quarter cup of oil. I have a half cup measure, so I'm just gonna fill this halfway up. If you have a quarter cup measure, use that, just be more precise, but if not, you can wing it. One quarter cup of oil, right into there. This is some beautiful honey that uh, are from some bees we got here, just right outside the cabin. And uh, Montreal bagels, the honey is what makes them so special. So you don't need to have your own honey, you can just use any honey. Alright, so one half cup honey. And this is kind of crystallized because it's just a bit cold in the cabin at night. Alright, the next thing we're going to do, take a plastic knife, or a fork, if you have a fork, and just beat this, this is not working that well, in a bigger bowl, just, you know what, we'll beat it in here, it'll be fine, frig. But this is the basis of your bagel, so treat it nicely, do a good job, yeast is like really coming into the room, so you should smell your yeast, if you don't smell your yeast, you, you did something wrong, I don't know what you did, or you're just bad at smelling. I'm just going to heat this really quickly over my stove to make sure all the honey's melted and that'll help to activate the yeast too. There's so many flies in here and they're disturbing, you know, like my bagel making zen. So I'm going to try and make a homemade fly trap. I'm not really sure if it's going to work, but I got my egg cart in here. I'm just going to like go across and like slather some honey inside. Freaking little buggers. Now hopefully we can get back to our bagel making zen. 
Because you gotta be in a good state, you know, to make bagels. I'm just gonna pop this up there. So the next thing you're gonna do is uh, add five cups of flour. And I'm just using all-purpose flour. Bread flour would be better. So if you've got bread flour, use that. You know, the good thing about doing this on video is like I always forget how many cups of flour I put in. But then I can just go watch the video again. Rewind. If you've got a fancy electric mixer with a dough hook, by all means, hook that on. Hook it up. But I don't, so I'm just going to start mixing this with my little mini whisk. And this is going to make 18 bagels. So, uh, you know, I'm going to have to eat 18 bagels. Oh, look, we can make a dough hook. No, we can't. You know, dough hook's the one that has, like, a hook. First things first, flour the surface. And you want to keep kneading this dough until it's really elastic -y. And I'll show you what that looks like, but just keep going, pull it up, push it down with the heel of your hand. You don't want any stickage, so keep flouring if you need to. And this should be a fairly sticky dough, because we got honey, water, flour. Oh man, my fly trap just fell down. I was in Montreal one summer with some of my friends, and it was like 40 degrees. And uh, we wanted to get bagels, so we go to St. Viator. Also, not to discount Fairmount, but St. Viator is the bagel shop you should be going to. It's so much better. And uh, you wait in this line, and all the bagels are being made, like in the back. Open kitchen kind of thing. And uh, we buy bagels, and we're just sitting outside in like the 40 degree sun. Just like we're dipping them into cream cheese. And the cream cheese is like melting in our laps and like falling all over us. And we're just drinking like Orangina, sitting like outside, just like sweltering. Oh, it was a good day. But just go buy a bagel. No, don't buy one bagel. You can't eat one Montreal bagel. It won't work. Even if you're on like a diet, just don't be on a diet for that day. If you're on a diet, just don't go to Montreal, actually. So now that our dough is smooth and elastic -y, you can see that, you can feel it, you can hear it. Listen for that slap. You want that slap, right? You're going to take some oil. We use the Abigail, whatever kind of oil you really want. And just lightly oil it. Don't go crazy. Just want some oil. You know, go around and also go up the sides because this is going to rise, right? And then it's going to get stuck to the sides. You're not going to be happy. You're going to have to like get the dough unstuck. Oil it. Just oil the whole thing. Take your little dough ball, drop them in, and then uh, cover that with a wet towel, or you could use saran wrap, but save the environment, use a towel, why not? And then uh, let it set for 20 minutes, and then go get your fire started. So, just have a snack. Don't have a snack, because then you're going to have 18 bagels to eat. I don't know. Do something else. We're back. We got our dough here. You ready for this? Look at that. It hasn't risen quite as much as I thought it would. Do, 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 do. Sprinkle, 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 dinkle. Ready? Put it down. And then punch this down. Because what you want to do is you punch it down, get all the air out, and then it's going to rise up again. Rise up from the dead. I have 21 instead of 19. I don't know. I fucked something up. Now it's time to roll the bagels, and I will say the Montreal Masters at St. Viator and Fairmont Bagel do not do it like this. They get one big long roll, and then they kind of just wrap it around and pull it off and as they roll it with one hand. But I don't have that much space or skill. You could sing yourself a little song, sing the bagel, you making the bagel, singing the song. And, uh, got my window open, you can hear the birds, just roll one rock back and forth, enjoy it. Feel it, be one with the dough, you know what I'm saying? Like, feel that dough. You can use one hand, two hands, whatever you feel like. Then take it, wrap it around like that, smash into the other side, and then roll those two sides together like so, just back and forth again, all right? And then, un petit bagel, un petit bagel. Montreal versus New York. That's where the bagel controversy starts. And in Montreal, bagels are boiled in honey water, which lends to this delicious, you know, sweet bagel that gets this beautiful golden brown crust in the oven. And New York bagels are just boiled in tap water. And both are actually influences from Poland Jewish immigrants who came and, uh, you know, kind of brought these bagel making traditions to the States and Canada. But New Yorkers say that tap water is actually what makes the New York bagel so good. Here we got our beautiful honey and 
I think you generally do about a third of a cup for three quarts. I don't know exactly how much uh, water I have in here. This is what makes a Montreal bagel so special. The boiling and honey water. And I'm not saying New York bagels are bad. It's just that Montreal bagels are the bagel you want to be eating. The water is sweet. It tastes like honey, but it's not a simple syrup. And now it's time to boil the bagels. I got a slotted spoon. You could also use like a kind of hook or stick. But uh, you got to be pretty confident in your little crimped edges there that join the bagel, otherwise they're going to fall apart. I'm going to use this just to be safe. You can do a few bagels at a time. They go right into the water, just drop them in gently, okay? You don't want them to splash, so put a bit of the bagel in and then drop it. Seed it, any kind of seed you like, but just remember, Sesame seeds are the best. Also, when you put seeds on them, it makes them look a lot better, hides up all your flaws. Like anything, you make a mistake, you just cover it. That's how cooking works. And you should feel them, and they should feel kind of like solidified to an extent. And if they're not, you did a bad job. So don't do that. Time for the bake, man. We're at the oven, we got our beautiful tray of bagels right here. So first things first, I got a glove because this is incredibly hot. And I'm just going to take this and chop up that. And you want to pull it out a bit into the cooking surface to heat it up. Oh my god, this is serious heat. My eyes are like crying. Oh my god. Nice sunset, perfect time. You can see the moon, well you can, I can. Perfect time for Montreal bagels. All right, push that back. We used to have a brush, and we lost it. So this is the brush. So you want the coals way back. And if you're doing this in your oven, do it at 450 degrees. If you're doing this in here, it's a lot more than that. Oh my god, my like glove is smoking. Oh boy. And that's hot. You can already hear that sizzle, right? And then we're going to go right in. Oh, baby. Okay. Here. That is too hot. Alright, this is a better temperature now. It's not like so sizzling that they burn the second they go in. We can actually bake them. And this will probably take 25 minutes. I don't know if I'm in the camera or not. 25 minutes at 450 degrees in your home oven. If you got a pizza oven, well, even better. Make them and then send me a picture of them. If you live in New York and you like New York bagels, stop watching. Just watch a different show. Watch an American show. Don't watch a Canadian show. You're not welcome here. This is our country, our bagels. Oh, they came from Poland, both of them. But like, don't go putting tap water in the bagels. All right, it's time for a taste. We got our basket here, just unwrap that. Oh, look at these beauties. I'm gonna take one, tear. Oh, the inside's nice. Mm, wow. That is a Montreal bagel. You wanna make it, you wanna eat it. Just do it. That is one of the greatest things on the planet. I don't mean my bagels specifically. Montreal wood-fired bagels. Oh my god!